So in my free blogging course, I always recommend 17th Avenue Designs as well as Piptig and Media Vine Trellis because I've used all three. Right now I use Media Vine Trellis. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to blogging and one of it is getting your themes installed. So I'm gonna show you how to install the 17th Avenue themes so it looks just like the demo. So when you buy a theme, it's not gonna look exactly like the demo until you go through the support and upload all the demo content. So to get to this URL, I actually just Googled 17th Avenue Harper theme support. It's the first thing that showed up. So basically you're just gonna go through the support and click through these one by one. For example, I just clicked on regenerate thumbnails and you it tells you exactly where you need to go. For example, it says go to tools, regenerate thumbnail. So I'm in the WordPress dashboard. There's tools over here and regenerate thumbnails down here. There's these widgets that you can update as your sidebar. So you would go to appearance widgets. Over here again is the sidebar. You go to appearance and widgets. Actually, I skipped over this. This is a big one. Import demo content and widgets. Once you import the demo content, that's when your blog is going to look just like the demo site. And then as you get used to how the demo site works, you can delete all that old content, like the old photos, the demo photos, the demo plugins, wording, word posts, whatever, or blog posts, whatever she put in there to make it look like the demo, you can remove that later once you get familiar with how the whole theme works. Like I've said, I've had two of 17th Avenue Design themes, or three, and I also got one for my sister, so I'm very familiar with them. They're very, very helpful. So if you get stuck on any of these steps, just go ahead and submit a ticket. But this support is stacked with uh, what to do with the theme. If the theme gets really hard to deal with overall, which I think that if you sit down and read the documentation slowly, take it step by step, you'll get through it. But if it does get really, really difficult, just ignore the theme for right now and start writing blog posts, start writing your about page, and then go back to the theme later. There is a big learning curve for using WordPress, but keep in mind you're starting a business and starting a business is never easy. And I might make things sound easy, but I've been doing this now for six, seven years. So think about whatever skills you've built up in six, seven years and how you were at the beginning of that stage. It's a learning process. It's hard for a lot of people in the beginning. It was hard for me. Okay, so I hope that helped. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments.